Hello and welcome to the Bee's Tales. Today's story is one that I'm very excited to tell you. It's one of my favorite books and it's also a book that has won uh, an award for its illustrator. Who is an illustrator? The person who draws pictures, right? In the book? Yeah. So this illustrator has won an award called the Big Little Book Award for this book. So I will make sure that I show you most of the illustrations in the book. The book is named A Walk with Tambi. It has been written by Lavanya Karthik, illustrated by Proithi Roy and published by Tulika Books. A Walk with Tambi. I took Tambi for a walk today. What can you see in the picture? There is a dog, there is a boy, the dog is on a leash and there is a white stick. And the page reads, I took Tambi for a walk today. Remember, said Amma, no running in the street. No playing in the river, no climbing trees, and don't get yourselves muddy. And be home before sunset. I knew I would remember. I was not so sure about Tambi. We listened to street sounds. We went on the streets that Mama Amma had told us not to go to. And we listened to the street sounds. We smelt the bazaar. We went to the bazaar and there were so many smells there. There's somebody selling flowers, there's somebody selling fish, there's somebody selling cotton candy. There are fruits and vegetables being sold. There are so many different smells in the bazaar. We smelt all of that. We felt the breeze. There is a breeze that is blowing. Can you see that beautiful place there? There is a stream and there's a boat on the stream and there are green trees and there's grass everywhere. It looks so beautiful, doesn't it? And there was a breeze there. And we felt the breeze. Then we met some friends there. We met some friends there. And what happens when we meet friends? Ah, everybody is in the river now. The one that Amma had told us not to go into? Yes, everybody is playing in the river. What else are we doing? We are climbing trees. We are loitering around on the ground. We are doing a lot of things that Amma had told us not to do. But it's fun when you are with friends, right? You tend to forget what your parents tell you. At the end of that day, they were all tired. Whew, what a day! And what a beautiful... Beautiful? Sunset! Ah! Weren't we supposed to be home before sunset? Isn't that what Amma told us? Oh, oh, we are in trouble now. Run, Tambi, run! We were late. We were running in the street. We had played in the river and we had climbed trees. At least we weren't uh, muddy. We thought we wouldn't be scolded for being muddy, but there, we have stepped into a puddle now. And we are muddy as well. <sighs> Let's find out what happens when they go home. Hmm, said Amma. Hmm, 
she said again. You didn't listen to a word I said, didn't you, Thampi? There, she's telling that. You didn't listen to a word I said, didn't you, Thampi? Then she turned to me. Who is me? Is it the boy? No, it's not the boy. She turned to me and said, And you have had fun too, haven't you? So who is really telling the story? It is the dog that is telling the story. And who is Thambi? Is it the dog? No, Thambi is that little boy. Now why is it that Amma has sent the dog with Thambi? Because did you notice one thing here in this picture? There is a dog, there is a leash, there is a boy and then there is a white stick. A white stick is used by people who cannot see. People who have become blind, they use a white stick so that others can know that they cannot see and they will move out of their way and they will help them if they need help. So look at that boy holding the white stick and he has a dog who helps him to navigate his way. So that is why the boy was listening to the street sounds because he cannot see the street but he can hear the sound, the horn of the truck, the bell of the cycle, the feet walk of the people walking, the moo of the ox, the sound of the person snoring there and then there's a tea shop and you can hear the sound of the tea being poured into the glass. He can hear all those sounds but the boy cannot see them. When he went to the bazaar, the boy could smell the different smells in the bazaar of the fish that was being sold, of the flowers that were being sold, of the uh, cotton candy that is being sold, the fruits and vegetables that are being sold, the smell of the animals there. He could smell everything. There's somebody frying uh, delicacies there. That could also be smelled, but he couldn't see it. But even though he couldn't see it, because of the smell, he could identify each of those things. When they went to the riverside, he couldn't see the uh, things around him, but he could feel that breeze and he could enjoy the breeze. Isn't it? And then they met friends. The dog met his friend, the boy met his friends. And they all played together. Everybody plays together. There. And they, in case the boy needs help, his friends help him. But he doesn't always need help. He can do things on his own. And then, when they are relaxing there, the friends tell him that it has become sunset now it's become evening now and that is when they went running and the dog wasn't looking where he was going the boy couldn't see where they were going and that is why they stepped into the puddle and got muddy now why did I tell you the story because when we can see the things around us we tend to take it for granted, isn't it? We can see everything and it then becomes very boring because we see it every day. We forget to enjoy it by smelling the things around us. We forget to smell the flowers in the garden. We forget to smell the soap that we are bathing with. Isn't it? You should try that. Try smelling the things around you to see the different smells. We forget to close our eyes and feel the breeze. We forget to feel the cool breeze of the fan. We forget to go and stand out on the terrace 
and feel the sun falling on our body, isn't it? So, after you listen to the story, try to hear sounds, close your eyes and hear sounds, try to uh, feel the uh, breeze and feel the things around you, try to touch the things around you with your eyes closed to see if you can make out what they are. Will you do that? All right, but before you do that, make sure that you like, share and comment on this video and make sure that you have subscribed to our channel. See you soon.